And the only way to safely capture otters is from below, while they're sleeping. As Jack and Brian prepare their equipment, the onshore team discovers that the sleeping otter is not alone. It's with a young pup. Now the team must capture both animals or abort the mission. And right now she's the farthest away of all of them, but that, that could change. Neither of those have tags. Neither of these have tags, right, exactly. When the divers enter the water, they must navigate through a quarter mile of dense kelp forest. Swimming against a heavy current and with limited visibility, a capture under these conditions is no easy task. Everyone's attention now focuses on the sleeping otter and her pup. The divers are now just below the otters. This is the most critical part of the hunt. If the otters wake, they will escape before the trap is set. Mother and pup are unharmed, though neither are very happy. Once the otters are aboard the boat, they're rushed to nearby Monterey Bay Aquarium. That's when a team of veterinarians take over. Led by Dr. Michael Murray, their first task is to sedate the mother otter. Okay. To the scale. Then they begin to gather data. We need to uh, collect a whole series of blood samples, urine samples, and measurements. We're trying to answer big picture questions. What's the health of the sea otter population? And then this older lady, you can see her teeth are in pretty rough shape. And that's pretty typical for old sea otter. She's probably you know, 14 or 15 years old. Um, the fact that she still has a pup is really a, a testimonial to her tenacity and, and how good a mom she is. What we've been finding over time is that there is an alarming incidence of disease, infectious disease specifically in sea otters. So by looking at individuals like this lady, we'll try and hopefully be able to answer the questions a little bit better. Though scientists still haven't discovered what is harming the sea otters, they know it's vitally important to continue to monitor the animals. Otters are actually good indicators of what's going on in the ocean. If these animals are sick, then the ocean isn't doing very well either, and that also could affect us in the long run. Just a few feet from the operating room, the sea otter exhibit at the aquarium draws big crowds. Though back from the brink of extinction, conservationists are keeping a close eye on them to ensure their survival as well as the health of the kelp forest. However, these highly popular animals are doing much to advance their own cause.